As your data footprint expands, you'll find it increasingly valuable to make changes across many objects at once, especially if you store exabytes of data or billions of objects. In this video segment, we will be introducing a feature called S3 Batch Operations, which makes it simple for customers to manage thousands, millions, or even billions of S3 objects at scale, with just a few clicks in the S3 Management Console or a single API request. With S3 Batch Operations, you can, at scale, modify object metadata and object properties, copy objects between S3 buckets, replace object tag sets, modify access controls to sensitive data, restore archived objects from Amazon S3 Glacier, and invoke AWS Lambda functions across all of your S3 objects. To get started, all you have to do is create a list of objects you want to modify or take action against. You can do this easily by using an S3 inventory report or creating your own list of target objects. Then select your desired operation from a pre-populated menu in the S3 Management Console. Once you've created your job, you can use the console or the S3 APIs to view progress and prioritize your jobs. When your job is complete, you'll receive a notification and a completion report that lists all the changes made to your S3 objects. What if you want to do something more complex with your S3 objects, like transcode image files or process data for applications and databases? S3 batch operations can help in this area as well. In the S3 Management Console, where you would select an S3 operation, you can also choose to run a custom AWS Lambda function against your S3 objects. This eliminates the need to write additional code to run AWS Lambda across your objects in S3. Thanks for watching. Stay with us to learn about other S3 features such as object tagging and inventory reports. For more information on managing your S3 objects, please visit our website.